Hello and welcome to our review of my Dell monitor I have just bought. It's the P2719HC. Um, bought this monitor mainly because uh, reading reviews and, and looking at the specs, it would uh, go quite nicely with my all new Dell XPS uh, 13 laptop 93 2020 edition. So what we do is we'll unbox this monitor see what we got, have a look, and see what the first impressions are. So let's have a look inside. Right, what do we have here? Some instructions. Looks like the upright, the base. I've got the base here. Already feel like it's got a good weight to the base. Very nice colour. Uh, metallic silver. Verging on a seal grey Porsche colour. So you can see the difference between the between the two. Very nice finish. Feels quality premium product. Let's get rid of that. Here is the stand. The monitor obviously attaches to this part. It's got all the different angles you can rotate and pivot the monitor to. Let's pop that down there. Power lead instructions. This is the uh, cable we're looking at, is this one here. You go direct from your XPS 13 into the monitor. So that's really handy, quick setup if you wanna double your screen capacity. And also got some other leads here. Let's put them to one side and get the screen out. All really well packaged as you'd expect. So let's just lift this up. Careful not to drop it because that would be annoying. And here we have it, which is obviously I knew it was 27 inch, but it looks a lot, lot bigger, especially with the slim bezels that it has, virtually seamless, just like on the new XPS 13. Another reason I chose it, just looks a little bit more modern and up to date. So first impressions out of the box so far, it looks very nice quality product. Not very, it's not very fat at the back, it's quite slim, which is what we would like. It takes up minimal desk space, I'm assuming. So what I'll do is I'll get this bolted together and I'll be back with you very shortly. And we're back. So now assemble it literally took all of 10 seconds. I'll quickly run you through how it, how that happens. Basically screw in the base to the upright. Really simple, just clips together, you screw it in nice and tight and then Mistake I made, leave, actually leave the screen in the, in the uh, box and you just clip the stand onto the screen and then you're able to pick the screen out of the box using the, the uh, stand itself. It's a lot easier. Here's the back. As you can see, it's just two clips up in here and it just slots in and then you clip the base of it down into the screen and then it's connected and then the same the bottom, there's just a screw in the center here. This drops down over the top and you screw it in from the bottom underneath the base. So it's super simple, already done that. Just got the cable, so I'll connect it up to the computer and see what it looks like. So just for a size comparison, just uh, have a look there. 27 inch, you got your XPS 13 uh, laptop. 
and I've got my iPad Air 2 there. So it just gives you a bit of an idea for size and how much space it takes up on your desk. Just another thing I'm going to touch on is the range of motion this can do. So it can swivel quite away. That's almost 90 degrees round. Perhaps actually 45, sorry. Uh, it's got a really good range of motion. It's a firm, firm movement. You've got to put some effort into it. So the screen's not going anywhere. Also, this is at the full height at the moment. So full height wise, if we just grab this, just as a measure, it's like your iPad Air 2 standing on its side is the full height of what that goes. Let's pop that back. And obviously, as we all know, the screen rotates almost touching the bottom there. A bit tricky to do this one hand. And then there we have it up vertically, depending on the, the way you want your, to have your display. Just put that back round. And there we have it. Not quite straight, but looks pretty good. Let's see what the display is like next. So it's all plugged in now. Let's just uh, power it up, find the button, just in the bottom right corner there. And here we go. Oh, it's got some menu options I need to say yes to, English. So yes, because it's handy to have my laptop charged as here screen is on, which is one of the benefits of this computer. So it's just powering up, or it's doing something, waiting for me to use it, I think. So what I'll do is I'll power up my XPS 13 and use the cable here uh, to have it as an additional screen. Also, it's another thing, the kettle lead, the power the power lead for this monitor, it's just a little under two meters long. So it's uh, plenty of length to get from your socket in the wall to your desk, um, but obviously not across the room. You most likely need an extension for that, but just a little something to let you know. And there we have it, really simple, just plug the cable in and it just came up automatically. Now I've got your dual screens in operation. Just something I would say, um, as I was putting the cable in, I noticed along this side, unfortunately I've pushed it back together now, but this backing had actually come away, and I just had to squeeze it back together to clip it back in place. Not sure if I did that when unpacking it, or if that's how it was delivered. But if you see my other video, I had an issue with my Dell keyboard, so I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't me. But yes, yeah, very happy with it so far. Really good screen, as you can see from this, the uh, quality is great, really showing the light. And this is with full, full light coming in from my windows and you still got quite good color. And reflection is not too bad. It's more reflective on my XPS 13. But just a nice little touch, which I like already, is that with my screen at roughly my viewing angle I'd have it at, it is just under the height of this. Um, doesn't impede into this screen, so you don't always have to have your laptop off to one off to one side. So I do quite like that. And obviously, in this setup, it's also charging uh, my XPS 13 as well. The screen is, so I think that's really neat. And less cables on show, which is always a win. Also, if there's anything else you guys would like to know about either my new XPS 13 9300. Uh, 2020 edition or the monitor uh, do let us know in the comments and uh, I'll perhaps look at doing another video on it uh, and letting you know a bit more information okay so overall initial in first impressions and what I think so far really nice screen size good picture quality from what I can see at the moment connects up to my uh, laptop really easily just with that cable sets up straight away and um, so it was pretty much all I wanted pretty impressed with the screen's functionality and how it can charge your laptop um, and then that just helps minimize cables on show and cables on the table etc 
So very happy of that. Nice robust screen, apart from what I just mentioned about that, but that could have been me or them. So very happy of it so far. Feels nice quality products, especially the base. It's quite nice. Um, you can see the difference in colour. And I like the thin bezels, just like on the XPS 13. So I think in all in all, it's a nice package together to work from home on. So just additionally, just looking over the footage, um, I did actually see that this was already a part when I was unpacking it. Uh, so in a sense, it did arrive, uh, I guess you could say faulty. So I just squeezed that back together and it clipped back together, no problem. It hasn't affected the way it operates or any of the functionality. So not a massive deal. Not a song I'll return it over, but just something to bear in mind when you do have your product delivered, just to have a make sure you have a good look over it to make sure it's all complete and not damaged. And uh, so just to double check. So all in all, I'm happy with everything. You can get on and do some work. Any questions or comments, leave below and uh, I'll try let you know what I think of it or be able to or answer your questions. And so this is my final setup. If you'd like to know how I saved money on both my laptop and the monitor, uh, go check out my first video or my review of, of my XPS 13 laptop. Uh, you can save a, what I think a considerable amount of money when uh, buying these products. Um, so please do go check that out and uh, hopefully you find it helpful. Thanks.